Hey happy homemakers, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that has been in the works for the past six months. If you guys remember following me, you guys have kind of followed along this whole journey where my husband got laid off from his job and we kind of didn't really know where we were gonna go, um, just what our future looked like. And I mentioned in that video, he thought it was an opportunity for him to start a new business. And as a pregnant wife, I was just not sure I could handle that. But the Lord is good and he brought us through all of that and he um, set a clear path for us. And now here we are, I'm sharing with you guys the completed product. One of my subscribers, Lisa, actually told me that um, when she let go and let her husband just kind of do what he felt passionate about, it was only uh, God only blessed her and her family and so that was something that really helped me do the same thing and just kind of let him do what he was passionate about and now it's so amazing to see that we're here on the other side of this and our mobile home is complete it's on the market it's up for sale and it looks gorgeous and um, not only that like he it has excelled at this and he has like been creating jobs for other people which is an amazing thing but also I have had a passion all along for interior design and I got to pick out all the light fixtures, all the countertops, the cabinets, the knobs, everything like that and so I'm really excited to be sharing the final product with you guys. Now to start off, my husband bought this this mobile home back in I think it was November or December it was quite, it was six months ago and this is not just like a little mobile home this is a double wide mobile home that's like the size of a family home it has three bedrooms two bathrooms the master bath is actually a really nice size everything in this home is a really nice size but anyways rewinding back this thing was just dilapidated it was in horrible condition the people who lived in it did not take care of it at all everything was very very dirty like horribly disgustingly dirty um, the kitchen completely had to be thrown out the, the all the flooring had to be gone like this place smelled like horrible stuff um, so pretty much like everything but the walls had to be stripped down and go so the first week they were spent like emptying out all the junk and garbage from this house then I went in and told them to tear down a wall that was dividing the kitchen and the dining room living room area we completely hey Marcus is outside with a babysitter and he's knocking on the door so anyways we completely gutted the kitchen and then we were kind of going for more of a farmhouse style so I picked the knobs and handles um, off of Amazon they're kind of I can't remember what it's called it's called like a polished brass um, so they're a really nice dark dark brown um, for the countertops I really want it to look like a nice granite but it saved two thousand dollars to go with laminate so that's just kind of what we did but it looks amazing it looks exactly how I wanted it to be like I would be completely happy with this kitchen honestly like I thought I was only like a granite or marble countertop girl but I would be almost completely happy with this kitchen. If it was mine, I would not have any complaints. So this is the front door right here. And we changed out all the flooring from the awful purple carpet to this laminate wood flooring throughout. It has lots of great natural lighting. Oh, I hope that whatever house we move into in the future has lighting like this because it's so nice. So as you can see, we sealed up this wall right here um, and made that area a third bedroom and took out the closet that was right here. That's our stuff and <laughs> it's in a pile right there. Um, and then took out a wall that was coming out here blocking off the view of the kitchen and just kind of opened it all up into the dining room area right here and it is just such a nice huge room and I just think it, that taking out that wall really made a huge difference to the house because now you can actually see the kitchen and you don't feel like you're off in the kitchen alone. This bar area was already here. We just switched out the knobs to like a farmhouse, um, like a brush bronze farmhouse style knobs and I think it just updated the look so much. It looks really nice. Um, for the dining room we kind of got a little bit more of a fancy looking light fixture and I think it looks really really nice. I love the farmhouse slash industrial look. We went with this brush bronze throughout the house because I think it really just pops with the white and just makes a really beautiful contrast. The kitchen is my pride and joy. I absolutely love this. The cabinets are all from Ikea. The guy who fitted them did an amazing job. Um, 
So like I said, we took out this wall here, so we had to put the fridge here and then add cabinet space around it. And I think it looks really good. All the appliances are the same, but we did add the Ikea cabinets and then we did laminate countertops, which I got to pick everything that went in here. Um, and I really, really love how the laminate turned out. Um, I wanted something that looked like granite and I wanted something light gray and I, think this combination looks amazing. Sorry if you guys hear banging in the background. That's actually Marcus. He's having a lot of fun. I love the contrast of the black appliances and stainless steel stove over there. I think it looks really great and I just love the brush bronze. There's Daniel out there. I just think everything looks so good together. The white cabinets, the gray countertops, the brush brown the brushed bronze handles and knobs and then the flooring and it just really came together and this is like my dream. Minus that it's laminate, I think this would be my dream kitchen right here. It's so pretty. Daniel got a bronze sink just to kind of go with everything else. I just kind of sent Daniel a picture um, of the lighting I wanted and he got it. We just had to switch out what was really old and dated up here and then he put some hanging lights over the sink area. I think that's a really nice touch. Anyway, so I think this kitchen is gorgeous. Again, I love how much more open because the wall came out to here and it was just like a little walkway right here. So you completely would have been shut off from the rest of the house. There was also a cabinet coming out right here and we took that out. So it really just kind of opens everything up, just makes it more flowy. And I think that it makes the kitchen a more social place to be. I think it's really great. I would love to host parties here. There's Marcus. Hi, honey. He's having so much fun over here. So this area was actually interesting because if you remember, the wall came out. Um, the wall only extended to about here, and then this was all open um, into that room. But we walled it up, and this actually used to come out further because there was a lot more walking space here. So the cabinet guy pushed this back a little bit more uh, so that there would be more walkway space and I think it was brilliant. He did such a great job and now there's just this little nook. And if I had this nook, it would definitely become my little junk catching nook where I just lay my keys, my purse, um, the mail that comes in, just kind of like a catch-all area. So it's kind of a nice thing to have. These would be our junk drawers. <laughs> and going down the hall, we did replace that light because um, we thought it looked really nice. Hello, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> and then this is the bedroom that we added. It's kind of nice to be either a guest room because um, guests would have their own private entrance, but also um, you could just make it a study. It does have a closet there now. Marcus left his little snack cup, but um, the most important amazing thing is the view in here. So this mobile home, it's up on a hill and it's absolutely a gorgeous view. And I love the deck area. And then coming out of this bedroom, directly next to the kitchen is the back entryway. And I was gonna show you guys it with the laundry in place, but they're kind of still working on that. I wanted to have make like a mudroom in this area, but we kind of ran out of the budget for that. But I do really love the flooring in here and in all the bathrooms. It's like this faux marble tile, but it's actually laminate. And I think it looks really, really nice. Over here we have the second bedroom and it's nothing special. It, it's got the same wood flooring, white walls, but the nicest thing is also the view in this room and I'll just show you really quick. How beautiful is that? And I really like the fact that you wouldn't have neighbors peering into this area. And I love this bush out here. It has really pretty red flowers. Um, and so moving on to the bathroom. So it's down the hall on the right. And we didn't really switch out much in here except, um, again, it has the laminate tile. And we painted the cabinets that were already in here and just put the brushed bronze knobs on them and then just called that good. But I think it really looks nice now. And then this is the master bedroom. It, I honestly wish that there was a window there. I don't know why they put one here that looks into the carport, but it is what it is. It's actually a really nice and roomy bedroom. Um, there's the closet and Marcus is, <laughs> I'll just show you. Marcus has been working in here, so there's a water bottle and his little toy hammer, so cute. Anyways, so there's just the master closet. It's kind of a deep closet, so you can definitely get, there's definitely more space in this one than the other ones. But now we get to the master bath. And oh my goodness, it is now gorgeous. Again, we put the same laminate flooring in here. Painted 
the existing cabinets, which I think look beautiful. Daniel switched out the lighting up there as well, but the most amazing part of this room, oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. This is a real antique bathtub, and the reason Daniel got it was because, wow, it's such a statement piece. Beautiful where these windows are, um, but to have it, but to buy the antique bathtub was cheaper. Well, at the time we thought it was cheaper than having paying guys to build a fitting around an existing tub, but I love it. It is gorgeous. It's like my dream to have one of these, um, but I think it just opens up the master bathroom and makes it look so luxurious. It's amazing in here. And doesn't Marcus look cute? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love, I mean, look at this antique fixtures and everything it's oh my goodness this is just so fun but it does have the stand-up shower as well we just have a curtain there and then a new toilet and yeah there i am baby wearing this is the only way that chloe would let me do anything and she's finally asleep hallelujah <laughs> there's daddy playing with marcus anyways that's the end of the house tour Wow, can we just look at this tub one more time? It's beautiful. All of the bushes outside were just overgrown and blocking the windows, so we trimmed a lot and took some out and um, just did a lot of landscaping that looks so much better, but also the nice thing is that it let in so much more natural light, so every space just looks brighter and more inviting. Um, the clawfoot tub though is just like my, one of my dreams is to have a tub like that and this one is actually vintage that they did end up repainting and just kind of restoring a little bit and it just looks amazing in there. This remodel was our first one. It took longer than it should but the results are like stunning and I picked out the fixtures and stuff but I think Daniel's the one who like was the real visionary and like made this all happen and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really excited to do our next one. But we got all of our light fixtures from Home Depot because we didn't really have time to figure out ordering them because it was kind of like a last minute thing just trying to get the home ready and we got this flooring also from Home Depot on Black Friday for a really really good sale. I'm really excited to start the next one. I finally convinced Daniel because he said as a home flipper it is the best idea to just buy bulk of all the fixtures and handles and everything and just do every mobile home the same but from an interior design point of view I really want to do everything a little bit different so I think I finally convinced him to let me um, get creative on the next one too. As long as I can keep it in the budget, I think that he'll be okay with it. Anyways, let me know if you guys like seeing this video and you want me to make a video of the before and after of the next house we do, and I will consider doing that. Like I said at the beginning, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.